What's the difference between Marth and Roy? It might seem like a silly question to some, but every so often I see people saying that Roy is basically another Echo Fighter of Marth. So let's get to the bottom of it right now and see just how different they are. I'll be focusing mainly on surface level gameplay differences without delving too far into things like frame data and hitboxes. First up is running speed. It might be hard to tell, but after slowing down this clip, it's clear that Roy is actually a tiny bit faster than Marth, but when it comes to jump height, Marth gets a bit more distance than Roy. Roy is also a little heavier than Marth, as well as having a faster falling speed. Now let's get into their basic attacks. All of these attacks were tested on Mario at 50% damage. Their neutral attacks are completely different. Marth does two swings of his sword, while Roy's is a single quick jab. Roy's is much better for follow-up attacks due to having far less knockback. Also, as many of you probably already know, Marth's attacks are at their strongest when connecting at the tip of the blade, whereas Roy's attacks are the exact opposite, being strongest at the base of the blade near the hilt. This changes how each character plays, because with Marth, you'll want to keep just enough distance so you can get tippers for the best results, whereas with Roy, you'll want to get very close to your opponent for maximum damage. I'm not going to point this out for every attack, so keep this in mind as we continue. I'll be testing each move at their sweet spot. Anyway, next up is their forward tilt. These are again different attacks. Marth's attack starts from the bottom and swings upward, while Roy's starts from the top and swings down. Roy's is also a little more powerful. As for their down tilt, they are the same attacks. Roy's is again a little stronger though. Their up tilts have different animations and properties, but they have similar functions, both covering a decent amount of space around them. Marth reaches a bit higher than Roy at the midpoint. Their dash attacks are again different animations with similar concepts. Marth swings in front of him, while Roy swings his blade more towards the ground. The knockback from Roy's attack launches the opponent a little more upward. Let's get into their smash attacks now. Their forward smashes have different animations, but both are quick sword swings in front of them, so they function very similarly in concept. Taking the different sweet spots out of the equation, these attacks really aren't too different. Their down smashes are the same attacks, performing two sword swings, one in front and one behind. For both characters, the second swing is more powerful. The knockback of Roy's attack sends the opponent more upward, while Marth's is more horizontal, and also has noticeably stronger knockback, especially on the second swing. Aside from the fire effects for Roy, their up smashes look fairly similar, however they are essentially different attacks. Marth's is a basic sword thrust upwards, and unless you're hitting with the tip, it's fairly weak. Roy's is a multi-hit attack which knocks grounded opponents into his burning blade, then launching them upwards. It's much easier to get better results with Roy's version of this attack due to the tipper being harder to achieve. Alright, time to talk about their air attacks. Their neutral airs are the same attacks. I had a hard time getting back-to-back -back tippers with both of Marth's swings, but to be fair, I'm not a very good Marth player. Roy's is simply easier to get the most damage out of it. Their forward airs have different animations, but it's the same concept. Marth's attack actually comes out a few frames faster than Roy's, and when hitting with the tipper, Marth's actually does a tiny bit more damage. Their back airs are the same attacks. Both characters will face the direction of the attack after the move ends. Marth's attack again does a little more damage when connecting at the tip. Their down airs are different attacks. Marth's is a wide swing, while Roy thrusts his sword directly below. Marth's attack also comes out a little bit faster than Roy's. Both of these attacks act as a meteor smash when hitting at the sweet spot, and surprisingly, they both do the exact same amount of damage at the sweet spot as well. Their up airs are about the same, and Marth's once again does a little more damage than Roy's when getting a tipper. Now let's get into their special attacks. Their neutral specials are different, but they're similar in concept, with both of them charging their blade for a powerful strike. When comparing charge speeds to reach max charge, Roy's takes much longer than Marth's. However, Roy can change directions while charging, which Marth cannot do. When releasing a full charge in the air, Marth is propelled forwards. This doesn't apply to Roy. And finally, Roy's attack is far more powerful, having the potential to kill at 0% when at max charge. But Marth's attack does a lot more damage to shields than Roy's, making it a more valuable tool for breaking someone's guard. Their forward specials share the same animations for every variation of the attack, 
although the final blow for each of Roy's animations sets the enemy ablaze. Since Roy's attacks are stronger towards the hill, it's much easier to get better results from this move with him. It's difficult to land all tippers with Mart. If you do manage to land a tipper with Mart's finishers though, it has noticeably more powerful knockback than Roy's. Their down specials are both counters, although they do strike different poses in their animations. Roy's is much stronger, starting to kill at 13% in my test, with Marth's killing at 29%. Their up specials are different in a few ways, despite looking similar. In terms of the height they go, it's about the same. However, their attack properties are very different. Marth's is a single hit, which launches the opponent backward. Roy's is a multi-hit attack, which carries the opponent with the blade, then launching them upward. Another difference is that Roy can alter the trajectory of this move, giving it more of a horizontal reach. Marth does not have this ability. When it comes to throws, there are a few things worth noting. For both the forward and backward throws, Marth launches the opponent quite a bit farther. Roy's, on the other hand, is a lot weaker, making it easier for him to do follow-up attacks. For the down throw, Marth puts the opponent more behind him, while Roy's puts them in front. As for the up throw, they are about the same. And finally, there's the final smash. Surprisingly, they are different attacks. Marth dashes forward a long distance to then unleash a critical hit on his foe. Roy doesn't dash forward at all, and instead releases an explosive critical hit in front of him. So what do you think? Personally, I think there's enough here to make them feel and play differently, although I do wish they had even more changes to separate the two. I am more of a Roy player myself, and when I switch to Marth, I honestly struggle a bit to do anything. I guess I just like the more rush-in approach that Roy has. Still, I can see why people think they are very samey. The sweet spots are really what changes how they play the most. Anyway, that about does it for this video. If you have any more details to add, feel free to post them below. I really just wanted to cover the basics. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon. Catch you later.